big, big sound effects everywhere. Won the die roll. I will go first again. Today we are on Mina and Den. Finley is on Cumball, console allocation, so everybody's going to love that. Dreadbeard is on Geth. And Chancemo is on Nabon, Dean of Iteration. Um, I will keep. Yeah, this one's a little... This hand is yucky. Yucky. Man. Chance mode keeps. Okay, Finley's gonna keep that hand. All right, cool. Pass it right along. So another card for reprint game. This card would never see print, but the card is Time Spiral. Oof. Uh. I think they've done similar things, but they don't have the untap. They just have the shuffle everything in and draw. Because there was a yeah. memory, right? Is shuffle your graveyard in your hand into your library and draw seven cards. That's the af aftermath version of... Uh, costs like mm. six, right? Days Undoing was not too long ago, and that was, uh, that was literally Time Twister with the end the turn clause. Hmm. Yeah, that's another one. For sure. Uh, okay. Cast Rampant. Get my mismatched basics out of my Mina and Den deck. Time Reversal, Days Undoing, and Commit Memory have all been printed, yeah. Do you think it's possible to build Slimefoot in EDH? Agent Cody Ganks actually, um, Seth Cross actually has a Slimefoot 3DH deck. It's on my YouTube channel on some of the archives if you want to check those out. For Here's Seth's game the other day, it ended up being his Slimefoot deck against my Slimefoot deck for a little bit. <laughs> nice. Uh, derp. The reason I'm asking is, says would never see the print is come, is because of the untapped lands. Oh, so if it still had the untapped lands, what would it cost? Eight. Nine. Hmm. Based off Seth, no slime foot isn't possible. Hey, Chaos Infinity, thanks for coming out. It's going well. <clears throat> Won the first game with a crazy getaway. Uh... Oh, please don't bite me. Come on, buddy. Crazy getaway Grinzo. Just kind of went all over the place. This cat is. This is going to be a great game for me. Uh oh. Did you keep a one lander? Mold, yeah, mold down to six one lander. I was hoping to draw some lands, but yeah. Ouch. I'm not grabbing any. Am I playing with random people or or only the two people? Uh, everybody here is from the Discord, so everybody just kind of signs up whenever we have streams for myself or Seth. Is there a queue? Yes, if you go to the Discord and go to the 3DH channel, up in the pinned section, there is a a spreadsheet, Google spreadsheet. You can go in and uh, sign up for myself or Seth's streams. I will not be streaming this Saturday because I will be going to the Pro Tour. 
which I said earlier, and if you happen to be a patron, I will be posting some pictures from the Pro Tour to the Patreon feed. Uh, and this is the last one for the month, actually. So the the leaderboard for bits is actually going to be resetting after today. Um, let's see. Do that. <clears throat> and do this. That's rude. Yeah, I know. Probably could have saved it, but I feel like I need the blocker for the wizards. To fool off to bed, got to be up kind of early tomorrow. Sure. That is understandable. Thanks for coming out. Hope you had fun. I drew a second source of mana. Nice. <laughs> what is the one card that shocked you that it spiked in price? I was surprised at certain cards from when when modern was created that certain cards became so expensive um just because I had stopped playing card you know I sold all my cards from Lorwyn and Zendikar block and then all of a sudden modern became a thing and all those cards super spiked so pretty much all of those cards because they had already dropped and I was like oh yeah whatever and then they all jumped way back up I hate it right now I'm looking to try to sell about 60 cards worth about $1400 it's, and I hate it because most people buying only want to pay like 65% of the worth yeah dark confident being 89 is mind boggling yeah you're right there's someone that I was like could not wrap my head around the fact that like um I think Noble Hierarch had jumped up so high. It's like, wow, that was, I mean, it was a $20 card when it was in Standard, but man. What about Star City? I'm not sure what you mean there. Like, what cards are Star City surprised jumped in price? Because probably none. Ben is very on top of things, and most of our pricers are on top of things, so... Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. You're very noisy, buddy. Um... This one's kind of difficult. I like this. Do that there. Do that there. Call it good for now. No, I meant someone walked in to sell a card and that was, and they were shocked at the price. I'm not sure because I don't actually work at, in the storefront at all, so I I imagine that happens quite a bit though. Somebody just comes in with like their old collection and, 
hey, I'm looking to sell these cards, and somebody's like, yeah, that's like a $60 card, and just, oh, really? Like, Vampiric Tutor, for instance. If somebody were playing back in the early days and brought in their cards, and it was just like random something like Vampiric Tutor, oh, well. Speaking of bobs, I traded four bobs for an Arid Mesa. Whew. That's quite the trade. I hate it. Back in standard, when uh, Snapcaster was in standard, I had three of them and oh. ended up trading them off to build a vampire deck and uh, lost my ass in it. Yeah. That's another one that's gone up quite a bit. I love Empiric tutoring for land. <laughs> yeah. Pilgrim's Eye. I uh, traded... I was pretty happy with it because it was actually a fair trade at the time, and it's still pretty excited about it. It was uh, the Xbox promo Garrick Wildspeaker. I traded for a Marsh Flats because they were both like 10 or 15 at the time. Fear my hasty eye. Yeah. I was going to get it to you. Agent Cody Gangs, how do you feel about the reserve list? I personally feel like it probably should go away, but it's just not going to. Pelletar, how are we all on this fine Wednesday? I hated about a month or so back. I ended up trying a Lion's Eye Diamond when it was about 140. Mm hmm. And then it skyrocketed all the way up to like what, like two sixty now? Oh jeez, I was trying to buy those when they were thirty, because I was going to build Legacy Storm no. when I first started at Star City Games, and the expensive cards were the duels, because it was like a uh, underground, two underground, I think, and a volcanic, and one other thing, and those were like the undergrounds were like one hundred and fifty at the time. Um, so I was looking at those and then because they had not yet been reprinted, the polluted deltas were in the like $80 range. Aw. Sorry, that thing gets out of hand. Uh, I'm looking out for Finley. I mean, he's only got a one, one there. You're just going to ping it. it just doesn't seem right. <laughs> but, but I had so much potential. Yeah. Mox diamonds up there now too. Jeez. Yeah, because like, the most expensive card in the deck at the time was the Underground, and then the next most expensive was Polluted Delta, and then like Lion's Eye Diamond was, you know, a couple of dollars or whatever it was. It, it was 20 bucks maybe? 30 I had a playset of Lion's Eye Diamonds when uh, Odyssey, or somewhere around there, when right after Mirage got released, so it wasn't wasn't expensive and i had made some janky madness deck out of it and then i had a break from magic came back online and written and they had gone up to like a 100 bucks each yeah and then wheel of fortune was another one I ended up buying it for like 20 now it's up to 100 jeez yeah I'm probably getting that life back. I was going to put that counter on that Hydra, but no more, you say? No more, I say. Hmm. I'm good with hanging back for a bit. Flip that compass. Woohoo! Who are the commanders? Third round. Who are the commanders? Yeah, someone I tutor to the top. Minan Den, Kambal, Geth, and uh, Naban are our four commanders. Pre cons, Delta prices were high, yeah. Sizeth Oathsworn. I got on a good side of trading the Lord of the Unreal for Machaeus the Unhallowed back when they were in standard Machaeus. Mike is now worth more than I thought it would have thought. Yeah. Oops, sorry. Reading the chat. 
<laughs> texting and driving here. Jeez. Yeah, um, especially for EDH, Micaeus is so easy to build around. Yeah. I'm really happy with that read the bones. <laughs> oh, geez. That makes the rest of us sad about that read the bones. They're both swamps. <laughs> oh, well, I guess that's good. Yeah. Might still start doing stuff. Got an unlimited copy artifact. Very nice. That soul's attendant is. This is funny. Oh. <laughs> and it just dies instantly. <laughs> Sad face. Come on. Cute mob and Grove Rumbler. <sighs> Fine. I see how we're doing things here. What does everyone think of Jace's spellbook? I'm interested. I like the fact that they are trying something with the new frames and everything. And I think some of them look really sweet. Um... I don't know that I would actually buy one for myself. Oh, Walter, don't come up here again, please. I don't need you to crawl across everything and then bite me. There you go, buddy. If you send well, me I guess a that was a misplay on my part. I didn't move the lightning grease over. <laughs> yeah. Hi, buddy. If I yep, regret, if you send me a full art explorer, would I play it? It was an altar. I probably would not uh, play it in commander versus. I might play it in my. I'm thinking about building a Tatiova deck. I'm really, really tempted. You should. You guys should try to make a uh, completely altered deck for uh, Stephen Green of the Homunculus card. Homunculus cards. <laughs> Every single card has that art in it. In my own personal EDH, yeah, that would be something. I j I just don't have any current. Uh decks that use explore but i would probably find a space for it especially if i were to play tatiova i got coming up Ooh, um you played it wrong you're supposed to lose eight not four i do that a couple times I did that once. I do least. it every time. No, I did it once already. Walter, oh my goodness, buddy, you're starting to annoy me to the point where I'm going to kick you out of the room. Come on. Yes, meow. What? Hello, Walter. We are we are have cat stream now. Cat stream. Okay. Untap those two. Uh, okay, don't claw at it. Uh, two more. So we'll do this and that. We'll get a Xenogod out there. Hmm. 
Sack that Terramorphic. Whoa, that was weird. For a brief second, the Terramorphic had the art of uh, the Eldest Reborn. <laughs> that happens to me a lot. That whenever something goes on the stack, it like will briefly show a different card. Yeah. The question I've got is if it's a if it's indicative of an art in somebody else's library. Uh, it maybe it was a card that I was played during the last game, but that's the only time that I can think. Uh, yeah, that's the big boy. Let's go with that. Oh, I didn't. I didn't ever notice that is another creature you control. It's not actually him. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever I have him as my commander, he just stays as an enchantment. Yeah. Rar. Okay. Uh, what is the weirdest tribal you have seen? <laughs> For. It was hats or body part tribal. Yeah, hats is good. Left hand magic. Is this regular commander? It is not. It's still 30H. Yeah, I just didn't put 3DH in the title. Yeah, Bushi knows. It was just uh, asking because I didn't put 3DH in the title. Figured I'd save the extra space. I probably should just put 3DH, but... It is just Commander. Yeah. It's not like... There's some other weird restriction on it other than the, just the budget, you know? Yeah, the... The Grenzo I played for the first first game because that was voted on. Yeah, I was really thinking about playing the 3DH against just random, just throwing it into like random cues. Still seems like it would do well. Listen here. That's for blowing up my charcoal diamond. That's fair. I, I was just going to ask you to actually do that, but I hadn't had a chance to pop my mic on. And it has Intimidate. And I can't tap it, or untap it with Spires because it nope. grieves. <laughs> Everything here is the worst. And it turns off Synagogues. <laughs> Everything is the worst. Uh, I think my favorite commander variant is Bad Tribal. No common tribes. I played Elemental and my buddy played Birds. Yeah, you can play against uh, Suarez's Bird Tribal deck. Birds of War, if you're coming to SCG Con. Apprentice Wizard. Kefnet's Monument. What are we doing here? Blue things. It's a blue deck with almost 40 creatures. <laughs> yeah, that's what they do. Yeah, I didn't put that guy in mine. <laughs> Agent Cody Ganks, you're coming to SCG Con? That is awesome. If you uh, would like to... I will probably be in the command zone area for a couple of evenings. My days are going to be pretty busy. But I will be in there playing some games. And if you would like to meet up with some of the members of the Discord in the 3DH community, make sure to check out the upcoming cons and... I can't remember exactly what it's labeled. Grand Prix and Conventions? Something like that. 
channel on the Discord, there is actually a meetup that is going to be happening, I believe, on Saturday. And I don't know if they've completely taken however many people, but they are just going to go hang out at a bar for Saturday night. What do I have coming? Hmm. Do that. I get two. There we go. Uh, let's put there. And there. Uh, I need Rebels EDH. Def check it out. <laughs> sure thing. Come around to make a 3DH deck. I'll probably do Lin Civi deck. Tribal, yeah. Make those elementals. Rar. Question mark? Super Hulk Elf versus Kite who win. <laughs> <laughs> so I was thinking of doing a mean group hug deck for 3DH and your thoughts on group hug style decks. I know that some people do not like them. It depends on the how long it really takes to finish, you know. Because I've definitely seen some that can take way too long, and those are those can get a little grindy and a little annoying, but it's also kind of a you-do-you thing. Yeah, Kingmaker, definitely. Now, for sure, I'll be playing in the Popper Classic and the No Ban List Modern Open. Well, if you get into the No Ban List Modern Open and you make Day 2, you won't be able to play in the Popper Classic. Because they will be taking place at the same time. I know the professor is going to be taking place in the Pauper Classic. You don't see yourself doing that well? Aw. I believe in you. Oh, sad. Yeah. Listen here. I have so many counters on this creature. I took so long to do this. Now you're making I sad. Know. It happens. No banless modern storm. Ooh, that sounds fun. I'm just trying to catch up some. That'd be fair. Yeah, that's fair. You've been behind and only gaining life every turn. Now, now I regret not killing a soul's attendant. <laughs> what? Which was an act of mercy. <laughs> so I tapped my mana to activate guest ability, and it auto passed. Oh, that's no good. Hmm. Get that F8 value now. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, for my style of this deck, is going to be live or die by the sword. That's fair. It's 
Ponder, Preordain, Treasure Cruise, Seeding Song, Rite of Flame, Gitaxian, Probe, yeah. If it goes over well, do you think they will consider it very popular? I don't know. I, I do not know what the plans are. I think they're going to see how people react to it. I don't know that it'll be a classic on a regular basis, obviously. It'd probably just be a, more of a specialty one-time thing, or maybe every now and then they might. Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. So, I could not tell you that it is decisions that are made without me. Hmm. <laughs> yes, I'm going to try to get out to the get-together that's going to happen on the Saturday, but I do not know how busy I will end up being. Would it be possible to talk or bribe you into playing a Battle Bond 2 HG with me? I don't know that I will have that much time, unfortunately. That would be cool. I would like to play some Battle Bond. It seems like it's going to be super sweet. Uh... Do that. And then... I had it all. Yeah, whatever. There we go. There could be a prime sub in it for you. Uh, yeah, I still don't think I can do that. Wait, I stepped away. Did I miss something? Oh, Denikos isn't a creature. Dang it. <laughs> Misplay. <laughs> Misplay all day. I was looking at the six and I was like, oh, that'll be fine. Draw six, and then now I should play this first, and then play that. Punt, Ooh, yeah. punt all day. Well, now Zenigos is a creature, so ha ha, joke's on you. Um. Hmm. Okay. All right. I see how it is. Uh, there, there. Question mark. Listen here, you don't need to do that. I think I do. Nah, you don't. Thank you. Thank you, Santa. I, I appreciate that. Uh-oh. <sighs> this is not fun anymore. <laughs> Double bear, let's go! Get rid of that while we can, I guess. Ugh. But I had so much to live for, and also screwed up so bad with my Rishkar's expertise. And we'd feel bad, but no, you that's don't. a lot of damage. No, you don't. You don't feel bad at all. I can see it. You're going to just bounce all my things, all my beautiful, beautiful creatures. Well, no, I'm bouncing one of mine. Yeah, that is true. That's probably actually a very good idea. 
bounce your own, bounce one of theirs. And now I have to bishop dinner, so F8 value! Pew! Pew, 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 pew. Sad face. Having a fun time over here watching. Right. <laughs> now I'm just going to sit here and be sad as we're playing 2v1, apparently. 2v1 with Finley well, sorry, just... I didn't want to get hit in the face for 20. Yeah, 2v1 with Finley just doing whatever. and I'm just hanging out. Blowing up all our stuff and playing more things that gain him life. Off of our hard work. Oh boy, now there's a Kambal out. So, that's a thing. Uh, what is my favorite of the flippy lands, like the compass? Uh, mine would have to be probably the Adonis Climb or whatever it is. I like that one a lot. The one that flips over and you can tap and give your creature plus X plus X and flying. I feel attacked. Well, you did come at me once. You're the only person who's attacked me so far. So. It's because I'm actually being attacked. Three Kroner, hello. Welcome to the chat. How are you today? And hexproof. Ugh. Path to Metal is pretty good, but no one believes me besides the Boggles player. <laughs> Oh boy. Yeah, I am I'm excited for this weekend. Going to Richmond, hanging out with the Pro Tour, seeing all the people. As I said earlier, going to be putting some exclusive pictures behind the scenes stuff up on the Patreon. Also gonna be working on just kinda hanging out actually. Not really going to be working on much. Going to be playing games. To be honest, I've had better days, but I understand that in American culture you say I'm doing great. How are you doing? <laughs> That's true. I usually respond with... Most of the time it's just, I'm doing well. If I, For the most part, that's true. There's not much that I can complain about, but... Sometimes I will just respond, you know, like, Oh, this or that is happening in my life, and... How are you? And then the other person just says, I'm doing good. It's good to be here. In Sweden, when people ask you how you were doing, you answer with your life troubles. But it's good to be here. Yeah, that's kind of how I, I feel, too. Like, I know it is an Americanism to just, how are you? I'm good. How are you? And it's not even good. There was an old episode of, I think, one of the early seasons of 30 Rock, where Tracy Jordan, who's mostly known as a incompetent buffoon, is talking to someone and they say, I'm doing good, blah, blah, blah. And he says, you're doing well. Superman does good. Learn your grandma, son. And it just <laughs> tickled me so much because my wife's grandmother will always correct you when you say that too because she was a teacher and she's very she's very polite and very proper and you know miss um what do they call that emily posts etiquette and all that stuff so she's a very proper woman and if you say i'm doing good she'll say you're doing well I'm like yeah you're right i also can't argue with you because you're 90 years old and you could probably still beat me up because she was a gym teacher for, she was a PE teacher for years and years, and still does laps in the pool and every day. Uh, in Australia, we say "What's up," and the answer is nothing much. 
Yeah, that's another one, too, that I've seen. Nothing much, you know, that kind of thing. Favorite non-English card for me, a Japanese Path to Exile? Uh, I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of foreign cards too much. Like, I, I was for a little while, but then I kind of gave up on them. But I donate to charity. That's doing good. You're not wrong. You are doing good if you donate to charity. But if they're just asking you generally, how are you feeling? Like the Chinese and Japanese basic lands where the name of the card is a single character. Yeah, that is pretty sweet too. The mountains, I think, are just little... Looks like a cat face. Spanish Maloku. It makes two two tokens. <laughs> yeah, all the misprinted ones that actually don't do what they say they do. I think the Hebrew version of Glory is pretty awesome. Those ones are sweet. I, I guess those those would count. Yeah, the Hebrew version of Glory. Um, What else was there? There was a... Chromat. That was in another language. One of those, that cycle was... The, the pre-release cards, before there were pre-release cards... One of that cycle was a Russian before they did Russian. Brazilian Stoic rebuttal, it has no effect, right? Welcome to the Joy Life Club. Gay Life Club. Yeah, I should have did it in the other order, so I'll attend it first. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of mana. Yep. I don't know what you're talking about. That's gonna get <laughs> crazy fast, is what it's gonna happen. My laugh can't do. Look at all of my nothing. Metalcraft, if you control three or more artifacts... Now you get to bounce your own creatures back to your hand. <laughs> yeah. That, that is correct. I, I'm going to do that, but I'm not a big You're fan welcome. of it, considering how much mana you've got. <laughs> Pay no I, attention I, I to the mana. Yeah, the the Stoker battle that has no actual text other than just the metal. Craft. I was just trying to help out Finley get some more mana. That's all. Well, I appreciate it. I've been behind in the mana. Been... Right. Well, that's rude. I, I have been accused of being uh, of being rude before. I I, I do I do. I already that. have enough mana. I don't need another one. <laughs> <laughs> It seemed like your thing. I'm, I'm just trying to help you do your thing. Yeah, I really wanted Cage Sun in this deck, but it's like almost, it's over 50 cents now. Jeez. Yep, 52 cents. Jeez. Yeah, that's that's up there. And there's just a few too many spells that are a bit better. Yeah. Yeah, I had to take it out of a lot of my decks, but just a few that are like mana dump commander if I keep it in. Yeah. Oh, derp attack. Let's not go there. I'm surprised you didn't try bouncing Vincer back to your hand to just keep on repeating the process between the two. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Because I wanted to get both those creatures back in my hand. I know it's what the card says. I just also don't appreciate the thought of this card is funny because it says retard on it. Mina and Den, Wildborn, Cumball, 
uh, Geth, which is now a land. <laughs> and yeah, with Nabon. no enchantment removal in the entire deck. <laughs> yep. Like, look at all the men I have and nothing to do with it. Look at all the mana I have, and then I did stuff with it, and then it got bounced back to my hands, and now I don't have anything to do with it. But recast my things, that will just get bounced back to my hand. Yeah, but they gain haste. I mean, you can still do things. Yeah, ish. I mean, aside from paying six green mana, six green, and uh, discarding a card. Right. Hmm. There we go. Hey, I could see red. God, the craziness of Xenago Scape's Trample, too. Right. I'm surprised that Xenago didn't trigger Cabal. Cabal? Yeah. But it is a creature still. Yeah, when you're casting it, it's considered an enchantment and creature. It's just when it enters the battlefield, it's an enchantment until you meet the devotion. Yeah. Well, that's no fun. No, it's not, but you're at 57 now. Yeah. Ouch! Just taking the punch. Ta! I will, I will kill you in standard. <laughs> yeah, I understand derp attack. It's just, it's one of those things where. So Finley, you have uh, an not... enchantment removal to help a buddy out. <laughs> Not, I gave you some mana. Not great as a source of humor, I don't I don't think, but that's just me. Uh, I don't really have enchantment removal. Then you should take out the Zendikor's resurgent or royal or whatever it is. Yeah, I mean I I don't have any, so But you're playing white. Well, not none in my hand. <laughs> I'm not drawing all the cards. You can Necropotence for a lot. Too much? Yeah. It, no, I haven't drawn it yet. Uh, I'll just bring out again? everybody's favorite dad. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'm the dad. I was a daddy. Ghost dad! Yep, yeah, that's a ghost dad. That is a ghost dad all day. Chance Moho seems like the type of person who would play Sorrow's Path just for the sheer annoyance factor. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, it's fine, Turf Attack. I, I, I get it. You understand what was going on. <laughs> Someone's seen your drink at deck. Yes. Uh oh. Ooh, that's a good one. That's not a good one. Sure, it's a good one. No, it's not. <laughs> good for me. I love kitty cat. Now we have Leo in here. 
who is being noisy. This is getting out of hand fast. That's what's going on. Sir, that's my skeet mob. Exquisite blood. Maybe it'll help me gain back some life. <laughs> Or combo out. Yeah, combo. Uh, I don't run the. I don't run uh, thing when bond in here. That is a whole lot of mana. Wish it was a torment of hellfire. That'd be wonderful. Are we coming back, uh, Walter? We're gonna try this whole thing again. We're gonna have a uh, oh, cat quake, cat quake. <laughs> exanguinate for twenty five. Uh, exanguinate for twenty five. Right as my cat just, just just walks right over the laptop. That's a lot. That's that is. Oh, hi, buddy. Yeah, are you gonna come over here and lay right on this? Okay. Hi, buddy. Well, that kills me. Well, Finley, I, I think that points out who the uh, the the danger is. Yeah, yeah. Dreadbeard. <laughs> I see that. Never an opponent loses life. I don't know life. what you're talking about. I just have a little bit of life. A little bit. <laughs> I don't have anything that combos with this. No, I said I didn't have Sanguine Bond. Oh, I see. Or any of those other combos. Uh. That, that's just synergy. It is just synergy. You're not wrong. Okay, I'm going to hop out. Okay. I, I hope you all have fun. I feel like I kind of feel like I know where this is going, but... <laughs> yeah, all right, no I'm gonna, killing. I'm going to put you down in Magic 2. Magic 2. Real quick.